Knocked over your tower. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Need to pick up some blocks, do you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I shouldn't have to pick up these blocks because my little brother knocked over my tower. I'm so mad. That's very frustrating. It's true. But choosing peace is possible to do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello there. I'm Aisha. 
Alicia, welcome to my cupcake food truck. Look at these cupcakes I made today. Ta-da! <laughs> I call them my teddy bear cupcakes. I just love teddy bears. They're so cuddly and peaceful. I have a story today about peace. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible starts with a man named Nabal and his wife Abigail. They had a lot of sheep. See if you can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, ten sheep, that's a lot. Wait, do you hear that? I think more sheep are coming. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> now that's a lot of sheep and they are very floofy. <laughs> I think it's time for the sheep to have a haircut. So, Nabal had some of his helpers start giving sheep haircuts. Now, tell me if you see a guy named David and his army. Do you see them anywhere? You see them? Oh, there they are! David and his army worked very hard and they expected to get paid for the job that they did. So they asked Nabal for some food as payment. But Nabal told David, no. Nabal said he wasn't going to give David and his army any food. How do you think David felt when he heard that Nabal wasn't going to give him any food? Yes, David was angry. Can you show me your angry face? Good job. In fact, David was so angry, he was ready to take his army and go fight Nabal. Abigail, Nabal's wife, realized there was a problem. Nabal didn't want to share his food and David's army was ready to fight. Abigail didn't want Nabal and David to fight each other. So she found a way to choose peace. Abigail chose the right thing and quickly took food and water to David and his army. Because Abigail gave them food, David and his army chose peace too. They decided not to fight Nabal. Abigail chose peace and Jesus can help us choose peace too. The next time you and your friend want to play with the same toy, share. Let your friend play with it for a minute and then you play with it for a minute. Or when you're building a block tower and someone knocks it down, don't yell or cry. Take a deep breath and then ask someone to help you rebuild it. Jesus can help us choose peace. Jesus can help us do everything. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Abigail shows peace, and Jesus can help us choose peace, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. Abigail chose peace and stopped the big fight. Jesus can help me choose peace too. Peace can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey! This looks like Mr. Bear. This bear can remind me that I can choose peace. My brother probably knocked over my tower by accident. I can choose peace and rebuild it. It's fun building towers. See you next time.
I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13